now we believe the universe is about 13.7 billion years old. And it's quite amazing that we can say that to that precision because just imagine in the first place just being able to, to ponder how old the universe is is kind of a, a hard question to get at. And then to know to that precision of 0.7 within a billion years um, is an amazing accomplishment. And there are several ways that astronomers have been driven to this basic conclusion, different ways. The first is that a few decades ago, there was a discovery that our galaxy, the Milky Way galaxy as we know it now, is not the only galaxy. That there are fuzzy blobs that, that people were seeing in the early part of the last century and before that were thought maybe to be fuzzy gas clouds within our own uh, realm. And it was then discovered through precision use of telescopes in the 1920s, 1930s, that in fact those fuzzy blobs, these nebulae as they were called, are actually other galaxies, other whole realms of stars and gas outside of our own realm of stars and gas that we call the Milky Way. So when it was discovered that there were other galaxies outside our own, that was an amazing discovery. And then it was discovered actually, and this was an accomplishment that you've heard about uh, many times probably from Edwin Hubble and, and other astronomers of that day, that these galaxies are in fact moving away from each other. They are not stagnant, they are in motion. They're tracing an expansion of space. So that expansion was a, a phenomenal discovery again at the early part of the last century. And if you trace that expansion backward, you can kind of do a, a quick little a calculation as to how long that expansion must have been going on. If you go backwards, you can kind of tell how long it, it's taken from when it started. If it started at a single, if all these galaxies were compacted into one point, then that gives you a rough estimate of something like uh, 12 to 15 billion years, something like that. Now, in more recent years, that number has been refined because astronomers have looked more closely at the stars within these galaxies. They've been able to define the velocities that these galaxies are moving more precisely. And in fact, what they've discovered recently is that this expansion has actually been accelerating, which is an amazing new discovery. I'll get to that later. But when you do all of that uh, precision measurement, you get to the point where you understand that the universe is 13.7 billion years. And this is corroborated by a separate measurement within the last few years of the background radiation in the sky. This is leftover radiation that was predicted to exist if our universe had a very energetic beginning. There should be leftover remnant radiation in, 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 in uh, all of space. This background radiation, it's called the microwave uh, background radiation, was discovered a few decades ago. It was a Nobel Prize winning discovery for uh, Penzias and Wilson. Mapping that out carefully has been the task of several uh, precise astronomy missions and telescopes, uh, specifically the COBE background uh, satellite and a, a more recent one called WMAP, the Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe, that's mapped out that background radiation and found out more specifically how the very earliest uh, beginnings of energy in the universe after what we now call the Big Bang distributed energy around the sky and also helps us again to refine the age, how long it's been since that very beginning big burst of energy. And it all points to this very precise age of 13.7 billion years. So that's a couple of the major tools that we've used.